This video explains how to use the double screw metal technique for designing your own restorations. The double screw metal technique is an innovative method of screwing the secondary structure to the bar. Thanks to this new technique, it is possible to avoid aesthetic problems caused by the screw thread created to fix the bar. Starting from an existing setup, proceed with the design of the metal bar until the end of the wizard. Make sure to incorporate the finished parts by selecting the laser melting option, in order to have a uniform geometry for the surface. After that, go to the finished parts modeling function and open the attachment library. Here, you will find the DSM attachment group, containing two different objects. In this first step, select the first attachment on the left, with the screw and the visualizer. Place the attachment on the bar and activate the cutting mode. During the attachment positioning, pay attention to the two guidelines which indicate the correct attachment height. If the attachment is placed too high, the thread in the bar won't be long enough to ensure stability to the secondary structure once screwed into the bar. If, on the other hand, the attachment is low, the stop for the screw head in the secondary structure will be too thin and may cause fractures in the zirconia material. Among these parameters, try not to tilt the attachment too much during positioning. Once the placement is complete, select Apply to create the screw seat. Follow the same steps to create the other attachments. In our case, four screws are enough to fix the secondary structure. Once finished, save the visualizer of the four positioned attachments in STL format and finalize the bar. Now, go on with the realization of the secondary structure. Open the Wax Up project in order to adapt the created setup to the bar. Before proceeding, go to the master menu and open the function for adding removing scans, and load the saved visualizers from the previous project as generic view. After that, go back to the wizard and draw the closing margin on the bar, making sure the bar is a closed scan. If not, close the screw seat with wax before scanning. Once you have drawn the marginal closure, you can increase or decrease the cement space according to your, or your dentist's needs. As you go on, the software will adapt the wax up to the model, and you can proceed with the design and incorporation of the secondary structure. At this point, go to the finished parts modeling function and open the attachment library once again. Within the same group, select the second type of attachment. These attachments perfectly match with the shape of the visualizers and are used to realize the same screw seat as those in the metal bar. Use the matching function to precisely match the attachment to the visualizer. Make sure this function on the left is selected, in order to allow any changes and ignore all protections, for example minimum thickness. Then click on apply. Repeat the same steps for the other attachments and once finished, select Apply. As you can see, there are geometries in the secondary structure that create a stop for the screw head. These stops correspond to the threaded channels of the bar in which the screws will be screwed into. The threaded channels created with the DSM attachments are automatically recognized by the nesting software, which will indicate the appropriate milling burrs and strategies to create the screw thread in the metal bar. Watch the upcoming videos on the new version of Zirconzen Medellier to discover all the features of the software. 